All right, they. Uh, hey there, folks. How are we doing today? Today we're gonna be reviewing the Huawei Glory, Huawei Honor, or the Huawei Mercury, whatever you would like to call it. This is that phone. So let's go ahead and get on with the external specs of the phone. As you can see here, as I scroll up here, you are seeing a four-inch FWVGA touch capacitive screen, HD. Let's go ahead and move on to the bottom part of the phone. And the bottom part of the phone, <clears throat> we have our lineup of soft touch keys. <laughs> we have our home, we have our menu, our back, and our search. If we go ahead and move on to the bottom of the phone, you will see a microphone, the charging port, and a little area here where you can stick your finger be in between there and pry apart the back of the phone from um, the actual body of the phone to get your battery out and get your SD card out. Nothing much could be said about the left side of the phone. As you can see, it only has the volume rockers up and down, and everything else is pretty much clean after that. So let's go ahead and move on to the top of the phone. Now at the top of the phone, you will notice uh, that we have only two things, which is going to be your 35 millimeter headphone jack and your on and off power button now this is the top of the phone here is your button and here is your headphone jack plug-in let's go ahead and move on to the right side of the phone as you can see on the right side of the phone there is absolutely nothing to see it is completely blank completely clear and um, that's about it there is really no designated camera but another than the fact that you can preset some cameras to take a snapshot with your volume rocker let's go ahead and move on to the specs in the top of the phone here we are with the front of the phone I just want to make two things known is that we aside from the emblem of Huawei we have the speaker which is quite a loud one if you know how to set it up right we also have a VGA front facing camera which gives you satisfactory results for some video chatting and with that said let's go ahead and move on so here we are with the back of the phone we have an 8.0 megapixel HD camera we have our flash on the top of, of the phone you will notice that we have a little hole that would be your noise deafening microphone which means that if the background noise is too loud that will uh, take it in instead of your normal microphone um, giving you a better and uh, smoother call here is your uh, your speaker this is your overall speaker for your videos and everything else you might want to listen to we have some emblems and that is it for this phone as you can see the back is very fingerprinty oriented see um, so if you would like to not have that if that annoys you maybe this phone isn't for you that's just something to uh, keep in mind as you can see I'm leaving a lot of fingerprints I don't really mind since I put a cover on it anyway but that's just something to keep in mind alrighty let's go ahead and move on to the actual operation of the phone oh. this is what you'll see when you click on your phone it's going to be um, your carrier your time it will also be this your unlock screen um, you can unlock it here you could take it to your phone um, you can also unlock it to your messages and to your camera so go let's go ahead and unlock the phone there we go alright so now that our phones unlocked this is gonna be your main page this is just a clock widget that I went ahead and got because the one that they have is um, a little less than satisfactory for me so let's go ahead and check it out they have this uh, little operations mojo that they have going on here basically what goes on here is that they have a little transition effect it's it's alright it's kinda cool keeps your phone different from any other phone so we have our calling we have our app drawer and we have our browser here we are in the app drawer of the phone and as you can see some of these apps come pre-installed other ones I installed myself 
it doesn't take up too much memory the ones that come pre-installed as it does have two gigabytes of memory of internal memory so let's go ahead and as you can see swiping through is very nice very easy to do very smooth very quick and responsive let's go ahead and go into the settings here we are in the settings of the phone as you can see we have wireless call just normal settings for all the other phones that you may have seen before um, if we go ahead and take on to applications as you can see most of my applications have been installed as you can see here we still have quite a bit of space left even after I installed a big game like Call of Mini these cameras and um, most of these applications they are all pretty heavy applications and it's still taking them quite well as you can see 285 millibytes used out of uh, 597 that I could still use and um, yeah it's, it's it's great okay so let's go ahead and go on to so here we are on my camera let's go ahead and click it on and we'll give it a this is a soft fiber uh, material so I'm just gonna go ahead and rub off all the fingerprints from uh, prior uses and check out my camera I'm going to use my hat here it's my Domo hat and as you can see I guess the phone gives it I guess the camera my camera's kinda cheap so it gives it a bluish look but it's actually picking up the colors quite vividly um, you can take your picture it's a not that it's a pretty quick uh, shutter speed you know you just click it and it's already taking pictures um, there you go so you just go ahead and click and it takes your picture and uh, it's a pretty high quality picture uh, you can also flip it over to video and you have different settings for your video but we'll get into that a little later so here we are in the camera as you can see I am using my hat to uh, to use as an example uh, the details are pretty good uh, you snap your picture relatively quick you have your different settings here and your exposure um, your different filters that you can put your picture size um, you can also have it as the you know the picture quality your white balance and some other little filters that you can go ahead and put on HDR um, so I can right away put that on if I wanted to you know I can store the location of my of my photo if I'd like to flash and then I have the zoom which is not recommendable if you want to take really good Instagram pictures zoom will usually give you a lot of noise and of course you have your front and your back camera so if we turn on the front camera you can see me right there and if we go ahead and go back to the back camera you can see the hat again next we will be reviewing the video so here we are with the camera we're gonna flip it over to video so here we are with the video and as you can see I'm still using my hat as an example let's go ahead and start to take a video recording as you can see this is me recording just a little area of my house and let's go ahead and check out how that came out as you can see this is me recording just a little area of my house and let's go ahead and check out how that came out that's a little snip clip of, of uh, the way it looks inside of the house now I don't know why that blue tint is there let me go ahead and figure this out right on camera so you can see that sometimes it is my fault and it is not the camera so um, let's see see I have it in an incandescent that is not the best thing to do um, since we are using only the daylight 
if we do daylight there we go and now we've got the color that we wanted so as you can see it is very true to its colors as you can see from the example here um, if you see both of the domo hats they are both very true to their color and the video should come out pretty uh, much better than it did before as the picture so let's go ahead and flip over to the camera focus on the little domo guy and snap the picture and there we go we just took a picture and let's go ahead and view the picture and there you go as you can see it's very true to detail it's very true to color uh, very good camera overall here's a neat little trick that this phone also has to offer if you go ahead and press and hold on the home button so let's go ahead and do that um, you will get all these apps that you recently opened up and you can very well just go ahead and close them all or close one individually at a time but I closed them all um, I think that's a very neat little trick that it can do aside from the transitions okay so let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the phone such as what how does it perform with YouTube here's a little clip of a video that I am going to show you here and you can go ahead and watch it as you can see, the speaker is very loud. I actually had to hold up the camera to my mouth so you can hear, but it's very loud. Very true to its colors. And that's the HD. Hope you liked it very well. This is a great phone. Hope you pick it up. Bye now. So this is a great phone. I hope you liked the video. If you did, let me know um, what I can improve on or if I did a great. Okay. Um, so if you want to subscribe, go ahead. I'll do more reviews on apps and such. So thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day.